can't keep it off of that. Can you hold what you got? Because I'm not in the pocket. see we have a different machine here old Daisy sprung a leak yesterday and the people that it, we have it rented from was so nice to bring us another one this morning so hopefully we can get the rest of these joists up today and have that chore taken care of David's been uh, playing with it just a little bit getting all the controls figured out this is a smaller machine but it will reach to what we got to have This is a little bit of a slow process. We got four joists up yesterday and uh, old Daisy sprung a leak and we ended up with a different machine which doesn't reach quite as far, but it reached far enough to do this. So we've got all of the joists up now and I do think the good Lord they're up. We've got good fits on them. really 
like that chamfer on the bottom edge, about six inches from the wall. I like that detail. We've got all the joist up. I've got them anchored down. I'll go up on top and I'll show you what I used to anchor them down. After we got all the, the joist in, we came back and put a, a walkway up here. I just went and got some three quarter inch plywood and I ripped one on the B wall side down the middle. I didn't two foot wide is all I need to walk down through there. But I anchored the ends of the joist in. You can see I've got the aluminum flashing on top of the joist, which will protect them from moisture sitting on the top of them. We're on B wall right here, and I put a ledger underneath this edge of the plywood. And if you remember at Paradise Point, I put a half inch spacer here and put the ledger on that so that moisture water won't set in behind the ledger and discolor the log. And so there's a, a two before ledger right underneath this. And of course I'm sitting on top of the joist over here. And I left myself five inches here so that I could put my level down there on my control to uh, get the inside face of B wall on the control where it needs to be when I'm bringing it in. Okay, I've anchored both ends with a, uh, it's a 16 inch uh, timber lock screw. I think they're 5 sixteenths in diameter. I put two, two screws in either end. And this is what they look like. And when they get a bite, they've got a bite. I could not back one out for anything. So I just uh, take my drill with a long 5 sixteenths bit and I just drill through the, the 12 inch timber the floor joist and uh, then I run the screw in. I've got a mark here on the, the shank of the drill bit to let me know when to stop drilling. I'm drilling through it just a little bit so that my impact driver's got the power to sink it on down.